Hello everyone. Today we are going to perform an activity displaying sensor value on OLED display. So let's start the activity. A step number 1 is to arrange the required component. So the component 1 is temperature and humidity sensor. It is used here to sense the real time temperature and humidity values. Second component is brain. and it is used here to sense think and act basically it understands the user logical thinking which can be interpreted via coding a third component is oled display also known as organic light emitting diode most commonly used in television screens computer monitors and smartphones a fourth component is four pin connector It is used here to connect the OLED with the brain, and this is three-pin connector, which we will be using to connect the temperature and humidity sensor with the brain. This is called power bank, and it is used here to provide the power supply to turn on the connected devices on the brain. And with the help of this micro USB cable, we will connect our power bank with the brain. So here in step number two, we are going to connect the given components. So first we will connect this temperature and humidity sensor to the brain. So we'll be using this 3 pin connector. We'll connect the first end of this 3 pin connector on the sensor and the second pin on the A0 pin of the brain. Second we have to connect the OLED display and in order to connect it we will be using this 4 pin connector. We will use the first end over here like this. and the second end on the given point on the brain so oled itself is having a single point on the brain so i will insert the second end over here like this as you can see both the device are now connected and now to turn on the circuit we need to connect the power bank with the brain and we are using this micro usb cable So the first end we will insert it like this and the second end we have to insert over here. My circuit will get powered up. So now here in step number 3 we are going to create the code and fetch the real temperature and humidity value sensed by the sensor. So we have to first of all click on the Thinker Orbit mobile application. As we can see that workspace is empty right now. So to have the logic on the workspace first of all let understand what we want actually we want that the value of temperature and humidity should be displayed on OLED so in order to do that we have to fetch the OLED condition so we'll click on output we'll drag drop this block OLED display text at 1 when we'll click on this so it will be indicating 4 1 2 3 4 what does it mean it means that we have four rows which we can use it on on it so how we can use i will let you know first of all i'll click on temperature i will write what value i need first i need the temperature value so i will write temperature i can write the short form temp done make it okay so you can see it is getting highlighted by temp so means in the first row of the on it it will going to highlight temp like it is a kind of text and now in the second row will be fetching the exact real time value of the temperature so i'll be again duplicating it i'll copy it put it here this time we'll be removing this and instead of this we'll go to sensor we'll drag and drop the temperature read temperature block so what does it mean it will try to read the value from pin number a0 which is already i have attached over here so it will going to display it on two so in first row it will show temp and in second row it will show the real time temperature value now in third row will be again indicating the text so that text will be humidity we can write a short form humid so you can see and even change the row so in third row it will be written humid and in the last row 
we can fetch the real time humidity value so for to have the humidity value in the fourth row we again have to click on sensor can you see this read humidity we'll drag and drop it and put it here again i'll be using a0 because as i'm using only temperature and humidity sensor so it is acting as a dual sensor because it is fetching temperature and humidity value at one time now the code is complete let's see the value will get fetched on the display or not so first of all i need to pair the brain so my brain name is tinker it is already got paired you can see now i will click on this play option so that i can send my code from this tinker orbit mobile application to the brain wirelessly so you can see it is saying connecting it would take few minutes automatically you can able to see the values on the display so it is very fine if you can see the oled is displaying temperature value and humidity value so right now the room temperature is 20.22.10 and the humidity is going on 54.0 so this is the real time temperature and humidity value if i talk about the application of humidity and temperature sensor so we are widely using it in home automations weather monitoring system car temperature control systems air conditioners and many more so in surrounding if i'll talk so there are lot of application based on humidity and temperature sensor i hope you enjoyed the activity and i hope you have learned something new keep learning keep tinkering